Hi, this is James with Thermal Battery Systems. This video is going to be on the configuration of a uh, White Rogers thermostat, model number 1F83-0471. Uh, this is it right here. We're going to have it, um, we're going to configure the thermostat to be running a three heat, two cool heat pump operation. I have it wired through the Takeo relay box here. Uh, this light up here represents the G terminal, Y1 terminal, Y2 terminal, W terminal, and O terminal. So we're going to go through the operation here for a second. We're going to demonstrate um, that we are able to make each of these calls happen when they're supposed to. And then we'll also we'll go get into the configuration and show you how we can change a few things to make that, that change. So let's take it up to that's just right at the set point it brings on G so the fan and compressor first stage nothing else is running we're going to take it up above that and nothing is going on as far as no more stages are coming on we can take it all the way up to the limit 90 degrees there and we still are only going to have fan, first stage compressor, not second stage, and not strip heat, and then of course the O terminal is the reversing valve for cooling. So um, that's what we've got there. Now the reason it's not bringing anything else on is because of a setting that we've got inside it. We have the fast action recovery turned off, and therefore it's going to wait for 10 minutes. And if after 10 minutes there remains a greater than one degree differential between the set point uh, in the room temperature it's then going to stage on another it would then bring on second stage compressor it would then wait 10 more minutes and then if there was still a greater than one degree differential it would then bring on the strip heat so let me show one other thing here now we're going to go back down and uh, just turn this off Okay, we've shut off the uh, the call now. Nothing is on. Now we're going to manually change the system over from heat, and we're going to turn it. Oops, I passed it there. We're going to leave it on emergency, and then we're going to take it back up and give it another call. So when we did that, now we've energized the fan, and we've energized the strip heat. So we were able to make the strip heat run quickly that way if, if we wanted to, but the compressor is not going to run. So now we're going to take the system over into the cooling mode. So it's got a set point of 65 and 74, so it's going to shut that off. It's then going to turn on the fan, or I'm sorry, the reversing valve. Then it's going to turn on first stage compressor and fan. So now it's, it's cooling. And I don't know if we have the fast action turned on on the cooling or not. Let's find out. There we go. We did. Because, see, I manually, even though there was the differential was already in the thermostat, if you manually push the, the direction you're trying to go for the set point up or down after it's there, it, it will engage that second stage compressor. So, see, it, it Brought on second stage compressor because fast action cooling is turned on, but fast action heating is turned off. So, let's go in here and look at how that's working. We're going to hold the menu. Five seconds. Okay, we have it configured as a heat pump two. We can scroll through those, single stage, multi-stage, heat pump, heat pump one, heat pump two. We're going to leave that be. We want the backup to be electric. This means that the uh, thermostat's going to control the blower. If you switch it to gas, then the furnace controls the blower. We're going to leave it on electric. This, is, uh, this has to do with cooling savings. It's one through six, um, and uh, I leave it disabled. But if you're doing a lot of cooling and you want that energy savings feature, you, you know, put it wherever you want. Um, FA, so what we are dealing, looking at right here is the heat pump and uh, we're f fast action, meaning this is the anticipation uh, of the heat pump. How quickly or how big is the differential between first and second stage? Uh, and you can choose between FA, SL, which is slow, ME, which is medium, and fast. So we're going to leave the heat pump one 
on FA because I want there to be a quick reaction to bring on the second stage compressor. Um, now we have, it shows up that it's the emergency portion that it's asking for here. And do you want that slow, fast, or if I guess just fast or slow are only options here. I'm going to leave that on slow because I want there to be a, uh, a spread between the two, but all it is is just the anticipation rate you're adjusting there. Um, this is compressor lockout. I'm going to leave that off for testing purposes because I want to be able to uh, move it, but you can go on or off on that menu. Next one is configuration, so as we scroll through these, it'll turn on or off various uh, aspects. We want everything on, like it is right there. Okay. This is uh, the display light, on or off. I'm going to leave that on. This is the offset of the room temperature, so it's saying 75 right now with this light shining on it. Um, so if you wanted to, you can offset it to read it one degree higher than the room temperature actually is, up to four degrees higher than it actually is, and the same thing, you can let it read four degrees below the actual temp. You leave that on zero, then that means that's the actual temp that, it, that the thermostat is reading. This is Fahrenheit or Celsius. This is the high limit, we have that set on 90. That's the low limit, set on 45. Here is that infamous fast action. The fast action in the heating mode, so we can see we're on heat, FA is off. Now if we turn that on, and then I'm going to go hit a menu mode again, I'm going to go the other way on cool, and we can see it was on because we did that. We're going to shut that one off, and then we'll go filter, you know, if you want to, you can set it up as a filter changing thing. Never mind that. Um, and then we're just going to run the schedule. Okay, <clears throat> so let's take this thing back down. I'm sorry, let's change it into the uh, heating mode. We're going to take the set point back down. Everything should shut off here. And we're in the heating mode, so it should shut that off too. That's the O-terminal reversing valve, so we shut the O-terminal off. Now let's go and watch what happens when we put it, give it a, give it a call. So we, we turned on, we're one degree above the set point, we now have the fan running and one stage of compressor. Now, last time when we started to turn this up, we could not get the second stage of compressor to turn on and the strip heat did not turn on because of that 10 minute delay. It should go better now as soon as we do three degrees. There we go. And it did it. It turned both of those on. So we've got, you know, second stage compressor and W terminal strip heat came on simultaneously there. And uh, if we go take it back down to under the set point, it'll bring all those back off again. Okay, so the way that this is configured, just be aware of that. I think it's item number 16 in there is that FA on or off. And then the other thing we're going to look at here is that I've got it wired with a with a jumper between W2 and WE and that's because that way I'm able to uh, turn on our W strip heat element by either the method that we just showed in terms of it um, hang on here. Let's get this back on there without breaking it Okay, so we can either turn it back on by the method we just showed where we went three degrees above if we have fast action turned on. Oh, and let's demonstrate one more time then since remember I turned the cooling off and so last time we were able to make it, um, uh, so we, the o, o terminal just energized, first stage compressor and fan are running. So we're cooling on first stage even though we have a big differential there. Well, I'm going to try and make it go down further. Last time I did that, it brought on second stage compressor there. Why two? It won't do it now. For the same reason that it wouldn't do it in heating before, it's in a 10 minute delay where it's going to find out whether or not there's a uh, remains to be greater than a one degree differential at the end of the 10 minutes. And if there is, then it will stage on Y2. Obviously, that's the last stage of cooling as the W terminal, that's for strip heat, that won't do you any good in cooling. So that's the, uh, that's the basic thing here. We'll shut the system off. If you shut it off, it still remains with the O-terminal stays energized. 
until you move it back into the heating mode. So we'll go back over here and turn it into the heating mode, but leave the thermostat low enough to where there's no call. It'll shut that off now. There we go. So anyway, that's a few of the uh, that you know ways or things to be aware of when you're configuring this particular thermostat. Now, obviously, this one's labeled Geo Comfort. This was sold with a uh, uh, water to air heat pump, um, but it's made by White Rogers. We'll put the uh, the model number below and a link to the PDF file for that thermostat. Uh, this is James with Thermal Battery Systems, and uh, thanks for watching.